A warm welcome for everyone to session number 33 in the part of React Learning Series. In this session, we will discuss about use context hook in React. In a typical React application, data is passed from parent component to the child component through a property. But this can become difficult for certain types of properties, especially if the property's data is needed by multiple components which are nested at different levels within an application. Let's take a look at one example. Assuming that when we access one application, we have a nesting of components which are making the UI. They are app component, employee component and salary component. Assuming that app component is having one employee object and that object data is needed by employee component as well as salary component. Context provides a way to share values between components without having to explicitly pass that property through every level of the tree. Context is primarily used when some data needs to be accessible by many components placed at different nesting levels. We have discussed this in the case of class components. In this session, we will understand how do we use context in the case of function components. Let's open index.js file from our demo project. We will create three function components. They are app component, employee component, and salary component. Let's start with the first one, that is app component. We will return one div container. We have placed one h2 element with a text as welcome to app component. And we will repeat the same for employee component as well as salary component. Now we will call employee component from our app component and salary component from the employee component so that we create the nesting of components. Now we will call our app component and we will render that to our root container. Now let's go to app component. Within app component, let's create one employee state variable and a function to update this employee data. And let's call our use state hook. And we will pass one employee object as the initial state. This employee object is needed by both employee component as well as salary component. Let's see how do we do that using context in React. As we have seen in the case of class components, creating the context object remains same. Either we are creating it in a class component or in a function component. We will create the context object by using react.createContext method. So let's go ahead and we name it as employee context. As discussed, we will create the context using react.createContext method. Using this employee context object, we will pass the data from app component to the employee component and then from employee component to the salary component. In order to do that, let's go to the place where we are calling employee component from our app component. And we have to change the way how we are calling employee component here. Every context object comes with a provider component which allows 
consuming components to subscribe to the context changes. So we say employee context dot provider and this provider accepts a property called as value using which we will pass the employee data from app component to the descendants. We pass our employee object and now we call our employee component within the scope of employee context dot provider. Now this employee object can be accessed in both employee component and in the salary component using use context hook in react. Let's go to employee component. We can access the employee context here by using use context hook. So we write let context is equals to we will call use context hook here and to this use context hook we will pass our employee context. Using this context object we can access our employee data in the employee component. So let's go ahead and display the employee details in our employee component. We say context dot id and we can repeat the same to display name, location or salary. Here we display name. And we would like to display employee ID and employee salary in the salary component. So we will go to the salary component and we repeat the same steps. Let context is equals to we call our use context hook. We will pass employee context as the context to our use context hook. Let's display the employee ID and employee salary in our salary component. So let's go to employee component. Let's copy the code we have written to display employee ID and employee name and I paste it here. Instead of displaying employee name, we display employee salary. We are accessing the context using use context hook here and then we are displaying the details. Save the changes. Navigate to the browser. We can see the output here. We can see that our employee data from app component is accessed by the components which are placed at different nesting levels. One level is from app component to employee component and the second one is from employee component to the salary component. We will continue this discussion in our next video. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.